Real heroes are always prepared for risks. They are ready for every challenge that comes their way. They value the importance of being prepared for every situation without a shadow of doubt. Which is why they return home safely after a hard day's work. The scenario is no different when it comes to agriculture. Our heroes here too have a safety mission to follow. As responsible users, every individual must ensure proper protection while handling crop protection products. Wearing personal protection equipment or PPE is a must for ensuring safe operations and reducing exposure. If a farmer is getting the work done, it's the joint responsibility of the farmer and the spray man to ensure the proper use of PPE. The farmer must provide proper PPE to the spray man and the spray man should ensure that he adheres to all requirements of personal protection and safeguards his health. For safeguarding one's health while spraying pesticides, Let's understand how to correctly wear PPE and minimize risk. Always wear a shirt or a t-shirt with full sleeves and trouser as they act as a second skin and reduce the risk of exposure. Now, let's move on to the next step. Start wearing your PPE trouser followed by your apron, which needs to be pulled over the neck. After that, tighten the straps to make sure that the apron covers your upper body properly. Wear your boots. Ensure the boot shafts are inside your trouser. After you're done with your trouser, apron and boots, wear your protective mask. Always ensure that the mask fits properly. Your mask comes with two elastic strings on each side. The lower string must be fixed below the ear and the upper one should be fixed above the ear. Press the metal clamp tightly onto your nose. After you wear the mask, it's time for your eye protection. Make sure you protect your eyes with chemical resistant safety goggles. Wear a cap for added protection. And finally, wear your protective gloves one by one. All components provided in the BASF Sunruction Kit are water repellent and designed to prevent chemical droplets from penetrating the body. The poisoning can happen via accidental contact with eyes, inhalation, ingestion or direct contact with skin. So always make sure you're wearing your complete PPE not only while spraying but also when you enter recently sprayed areas. The kit has to be worn during the entire spraying process right from measuring, preparing stock solution till washing and disposal of empty containers. Wearing PPE is not enough. Crop protection products must be handled with care and attention. This can be done by making sure that your spray equipment is regularly inspected and properly calibrated. Always check for certifications that guarantee original PPE. After all activities are over, make sure you remove your PPE in the correct sequence. Your gloves must be washed before taking off other PPE components. Remove your cap first, followed by goggles, apron, shoes and trouser in the mentioned sequence. Then remove your gloves as shown in the video. Make sure your skin doesn't come in direct contact with the outer side of the gloves while removing them. Once you are done with gloves, you can remove your mask. After taking off your PPE, make sure you take a shower with plenty of water and soap. Now wear another set of protective gloves and apron and start rinsing your recently used PPE. They should be washed separately in a specific location that must be appropriate for this type of cleaning. Use mild soap while cleaning. Detergents, bleachers or whiteners should not be used. Also make sure you don't scrub your PPE and keep them soaked in water after being washed. After drying, make sure you store your PPE in a safe place. BASF Suraksha Hamesha program encourages the use of protection gear for safe and sustainable farming. After all, true heroes always return home safely. BASF Always ask an agronomist for information.